Warning, this podcast contains strong and offensive language and themes not appropriate for younger listeners or the easily offended. Welcome to London, the London of the 50s. That's the 2050s, where crime is rife because the police were defunded. So sit back and enjoy the ride of London 2055. It was a hard day at work, I'm not going to lie, although I did hide away from most of it in the toilet, masturbating, but there's only so many winks you can have before you fucking get a sore dick, a sore hand and a sore wrist, and then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave work early and go down to the dog and duck. Now, I know what you're thinking, why is some guy, some nerdy fucking wanker, going to the dog and duck for fucking, uh, well, going to the dog and duck after work. Well, first of all, I was hungry, and Big Dave, who uh, runs the place, he he makes the best pies ever. I don't know what he's got in the pies, but they're, they're the greatest fucking pies. I just hope he doesn't Sweeney Todd me, or uh, put dead rats in it or whatnot I mean he is on the dodge but then again everyone that goes into the uh, dog and duck they're fucking dodge because it's that gangsters bar now I'm saying now I hear you say why why do you want to go into the gangsters bar well that's because no dickhead that I work with would ever dare go in there and if they did see me go in there they'd actually think, oh my god, he's actually a fucking nutcase, he's a psychopath, he's a gang member, let's just leave him the fuck alone. And I kind of think that's why I get left alone to masturbate at work, you know, leave my desk uh, as often as possible, do as little work as possible, and no one seems to want to go near me. It's either the uh, fear of being killed or the uh, fact that I'm a known wanker, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter to me, the bottom line is, I was at the dog and duck, and this is probably, what, two or three days after the incident at the welcome centre, so you've got a load of angry cops, I mean, load of angry cops, you've got a load of angry government officials, and then you've got a load of angry gumshoes as well, so, Jesus, it was a massive fucking shit show, but hey, it's always a massive fucking shit show in London, in our in the year of our Lord twenty fifty five. So there's me sat down at my table in the corner where I always sit. So I've got two walls near me, so I don't have to watch my back or my sides. It's just my front, because yes, I go to the gangster bar. Yes. I'm not fucking stupid because I know what goes on there. And yes, I'm going to be sat where I can see absolutely everyone in case someone decides they're going to have a fucking shootout. Because it was quite often in that place that there was a shootout. But I knew something that a lot of people didn't. If something was to happen, I'd just tip my table and hide behind it. Because Big Dave, he's um, he's got bulletproof tables. And not many people know that. But anyways... So there I was, enjoying my pie, watching the news, watching politician after politician, getting all salty about the welcome centre getting attacked and uh, the release of the alien sepanoids, as well as other aliens. And I'm just quietly enjoying myself because, hey, this is the best goddamn entertainment you see in a long time because, hey, it's either reruns or fucking mediocre crap where people try and sing or show a talent which they quite clearly haven't got because those programmes, let's face it, well, since the early 2000s, that's how they just get ratings, ritual humiliation. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to get back to my story because I keep digressing. So there's me mouth full of pie watching the tv and then cop after cop after cop after cop they all come bowling into the bar and i'm thinking oh fuck what's going on here and you got the uh, cop in charge just standing on a table ladies and motherfucking gentlemen he said all you gangster motherfuckers we want to know who 
hit the Welcome Centre at the same time as the biggest heist in all of history. We want to fucking know who fucking done it. And we know that someone in here knows who fucking done it. And guess what? There is a piece of paper in my hand that says by the government on the full government decree that we are to use all methods to find out who did it. And we're allowed to waste people. Now fucking tell me who fucking did it. He got down from the table. And he went up to Big Dave. Grabbed him by the throat. You fucking tell me who fucking done it. And Big and Dave was like, I don't fucking know. I just run this fucking bar. And it happens to be the bar that all the fucking gangsters picked at random to say, this is our fucking meeting point. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I mean, if someone's going to fucking plan something like that, they ain't going to fucking say shit here. They ain't even going to fucking talk about it here. Now, come on, man. How do you th- stupid do you think these guys are? And then you had this triad. He just went up to the guy. This is neutral territory. The cop. He let go of David's throat. Neutral territory, said the cop. Yes. That includes you. Really? Well, I know. I know that we've all taken backhanders in the past. Every cop here has taken a fucking backhander at some point. Because they don't fucking pay us. Now. Yeah. We signed the charter. Our organisation is on that charter. But guess what? We don't give a fuck. Because we've been told. we got to fucking find him. Now you come here. And tell me. Whisper it in my ear. Whisper it in my fucking ear. Who fucking done it? Even if I know. I wouldn't tell you. Then a Russian. Stood up. And went over to the cop. And this guy. Big fucking guy. Big motherfucker. Muscles. You know. Put it this way. I could fit both my legs and my waist in one of his fucking arms. That's how big this cunt was. Yeah. And. I'm still slowly eating my pie. This motherfucking Russian. He went up to the cop. I can safely say. That no one in here knows who done it. You have to excuse my Russian accent, by the way, because I'm terrible accent. Same with the triad accent, yeah? So, anyways, fuck it. The cop looked up at this uh, Russian. Do you think I'm fucking scared of you, he says. Do you fucking think I'm scared of you? And he pushed the Russian. He pushed him that hard. The big guy fell over a stool and landed on his ass. You shouldn't have done that, he said. I'm going to get you. So the Russian got off his big ass, stood his big ass on the floor and pushed the leading copper over. And he landed into the bar, cracking his head on the corner and he fell down. Big pool of blood, blood everywhere. Shit. I was thinking, I don't think I'm going to fucking get to finish eating my pie safely. And then I was thinking... I can't get to the fucking door because all the cops are blocking it. They're all fucking looking at me. And what the fuck do I do? Then I noticed who's at the bar. Fucking how it's Alexa. She's at the fucking bar. And she's, um, she's like got her hand on her hip, just itching, itching her waist. And I just realized shit, her guns are right there. Right there in her shadow holsters on her left, on her right, and she's just waiting for someone to make a full smooth with a gun. Just waiting because fuck it, why not? She's a psychopath. And I, I can see all the groups of other gangsters just guns on table, itching, itching for someone to make the first fucking move. The next cop will come along. Come on, guys. We don't want any more fucking blood. I mean, look, that dopey cunt just fucking uh, whacked his head and died, yeah? Um, it doesn't have to come like this. We've got orders to find out who did it. Who did it? Come on. you got to tell us. Big Dave just went up to the other cop and said, Look, mate, seriously. Seriously, fucking geezer. 
even if they fucking knew, they ain't going to fucking tell you. Not in the, in the public, not open like this. Because, yeah, again, that's part of the fucking chart. That's on the fucking wall. No grassing. No grassing on any information that you hear in this fucking building. Do you want to fucking start a massive, massive war? The cop looked around at Big Dave. And he grabbed him by the neck. Picked him up and pulled him over the fucking bar. And then the copper pulled out a fucking flick knife from his pocket and stabbed the Big Dave in the fucking gut. Now, you're going to fucking bleed to death if you don't fucking tell me who fucking done it. And then in slow motion, I saw Alexa just pull her guns out of the holster and pop that cunt in the fucking face. No, no words, no nothing. It was quite literally out, blam, head exploded everywhere. Cause she's got a forty-four calibre guns, yeah. Bam, blood everywhere. Then she uh, got her second gun and got the cop next to it, next to that fucker, <laughs> shot him in the fucking face. And then all the cops got their guns out, and a massive fucking firefight happened. So at this point, there's me hiding behind my table because at this point I had actually tipped my table over as soon as Alexa shot that fucker in the face and there was gunfire everywhere people screaming people in lots of fucking pain then one of the, all of a second I saw a fucking uh, ashtray come flying towards my fucking head just over from the far end of the bar and then it just missed me it just fucking missed me past the fucking bulletproof table but it fucking just came over shit and then all of a sudden I can hear Alexa say fire in the hole oh shit I was saying I grabbed the rest of my plane wolfed it down and just curled up in a ball underneath this table tipped the table closer to the walls to try and shield me from anything that's going on and then there, there it was a massive fucking bomb blast shit what the fuck happened there and I was thinking, shit, am I dead? Then I was thinking, no, I'm thinking, am I dead? Which means I'm a fucking live. I'm a live motherfucker. I uncurled myself from the ball. I stuck my head out slightly from uh, the table. And then I just dodged a fucking bullet because bam, one came over. More gunfire. Lots of people coughing. Lots of smoke in the U.S. room. Then again, then there was another one. Fire in the hole, and I covered and I curled into another fucking ball. And this massive explosion that went off. This was even bigger than the last. And then nothing. Just silence. I just waited and waited and waited. And then the table got pulled away from me. I looked up. It was Alexa. She was covered in fucking blood, guts, gore. And she was unscathed. There was other people there. All covered in cuts, bruises. Blackened skin from uh, being char partially charred from the bomb blasts. And all these cops. They were all dead. You had a load of uh, gangsters that were dead as well. But fuck me. There was a lot of fucking death in here today. How... Hell's Big Dave, I said to Alexa. She looked at me. He'll fucking live. I managed to get him behind the bar before the fucking bomb went off. Who, who fired the fucking bomb? I did, said Alexa. There was a couple of bombs that Dave built into the building just in case something like this happens. And you have to be in a safe area for it to go off. You're lucky because the third one's behind your table. I shit myself. And when I say I shit myself, it wasn't... A figure of speech. It was quite literally. There was a big turd in my fucking pants. Alexa picked me up and said. Toilet's that way. And I waddled out. Thank you for listening to London 2055. If you like today's podcast. Why not check out Gumshoe. Where London 2055 is based on. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to check out our other podcast. Master X Media. They are the Total Entertainment Podcast, a tribute to men that hate their jobs and 30 years since. 
All podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music and YouTube. The links are in the description below. As well as being able to access it on our website, which is www.musterxmedia.info. And we will catch you next time.